Hi everyone, it's Philip. Welcome to Concert Classical Guitars. This is a second hand guitar and uh, this is a special instrument because uh, it's a Graham Calder Smith guitar from Australia and um, this guitar was made in 2014. Uh, this is the number 95 and um, unfortunately uh, Graham Carlos Smith passed away some years ago and uh, he was a good friend of her and um, always used to send us very great instrument and sending messages about what we were doing and about the guitars and the videos and and he was uh, uh, very in interested about what uh, we were doing and where the guitars were going to and uh, always trying to improve his own design. So he is one of the pioneer of the lattice design uh, for the guitars. Used to make some violin first and then the guitars. He, makes, he also made different guitars like a baritone, a tenor guitar, and even, make, uh, even made a uh, lattice design on the piano. So very, very interesting person and uh, so this guitar uh, aged gracefully I will say just some little marks and things from the playing where but uh, no cracks just uh, looking great too so see the top um, uh, I don't know what kind of wood maybe it's paddock too and uh, very simple but woody um, used to do that uh, for the rosette uh, small bridge uh, armrest and this guitar has an arch back of course arch back is uh, th on this one there's an indian rosewood um, for the back and side big uh, big bindings uh, very very comfortable oval uh, shaped neck um, the neck on this guitar i think this is mahogany and uh, using a goto tuning machine it's dark kind of cool guitar it's a navy guitar but not that much not too much uh, it has uh, a navy frame uh, under the top and there's also like on the violin there's a uh, a piece of wood uh, going from the top and uh, to the the back of the guitar so very nice guitar also there's a truss rod for the action of the neck you can adjust here inside the guitar i remember it told us that uh, you could even remove the neck if there was a problem so uh, the sound of this guitar of course this is a concert level guitar with this very special so sound when you play but it it is made to be heard very far away and when you're far away and you listen to those guitars and you say what oh, the sound is very present it's powerful but still very um mellowed uh mellow sounding and uh, of course in the front it's uh, a little bit uh, kind of uh nasal a little bit and uh, of course in the trebles uh, uh, strings uh, the g but um, when you're far away you don't hear that at all so anyway microphone so the uh, low e you can feel the medium frequencies even in in the low e in the sound Also, I have to mention it's a lattice brace with a square like this and uh, it's a different design from the Smallman. Uh, of course, it's not the same way of making the lattice and there is no carbon. And then the, low, the, the A string.
Then the D string. is not a new guitar so now it's reaching its uh its full potential of course also this guitar was made at the the time when uh, Graham was uh, at the you know at the top of his making and of of his art but all the guitars from that time were, were crazy good. So the first string now you can feel it's the first string is uh, sounding like the the second string, kind of a medium tone. It's super sweet and mellow. It's not bright and uh, aggressive like some guitars. Bases. Honestly, it's cool to be able to play on a grand Caldespeus guitar again. And um, well, there's a unique chance to get one in very good condition. And um, if you're looking for a powerful guitar with a very, very uh, mellow tone, round tone, uh, 
that it's not too bright and um, comfortable to play. Almost like a piece of history of the lattice design guitar. Um, you have to think about this. This is a crazy good guitar. Thank you.